Percy, count the day of destruction. The what? The day of destruction. Why does Mrs. Dears want a day of destruction? My daughters pleaded innocent, yet still you sent them to the stake. You can burn me, but you can't burn the hatred. Oh, I see. That's why she wants to destroy everything. My hatred will remain and ferment and grow evil. Here, I've just had an horrible thought. If the evil one destroys the world, we all get destroyed. Now, hang on, hang on. What about the Sword of Conigar? If Miss Dudridge and co. can get the Sword of Conigar, they can stop the evil one. <laughs> but before anyone does anything, we'd better check Bill's arrival. Last week, he took a bit of a nasty fall. How are you feeling, Bill? I feel fine. You don't look fine. You look like sick. <laughs> Back, everybody. He'll answer your questions now, isn't it? Did you fall, Bill? Did somebody push you, Bill? Back, everybody. Can you just tell me? Oh, no, no. Lee, you'll see the boy later. Best get yourself checked over. You could be in shock and not know it. I bet you'll get a really good looking doctor. Oh, yes, like in casualty. No, children's will. What about him in peak practice? Oh, he's not as nice as. Can I help you, ladies? <laughs> Can you follow me? Can you uh, bring the patient? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that doctor talk? Yes, they learn here at doctor school. Hmm, well, a bit of bad news, I'm afraid. How bad is bad? Well, uh, very, uh, very, 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 very bad. Not good, then. Not good. Young William here only has a few moments to live. No. But don't worry. You won't miss him. Because you'll be dead as well. And the world outside won't miss you because then all be dead. And the pets won't whine or pine for their masters because they'll all be dead. The sea won't move and the winds won't blow. Everything dies. When? When the last grain of sand falls through. to the day of destruction, Conigars. You were the only ones who could have stopped me. There's still time, dears. <laughs> you can't stop what you can't catch. <laughs> dears! 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 Are we ready to fight? What did the doctor say, Bill? There is no time! We're just doing our job. Ow! 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 This day the victory must be ours. Film this. So is the set. Their destruction. The, the devastation will not stop till we can stop her. How do we do that? With the sword of Conagar. Leave us. Look, leave us. Well, where's the sword? I know where Mrs. Dears chucked it. Well, how do we find Mrs. Dears? Nature is on our side. The wind will take us. The wind will what? What was that? Strange happenings in Dunster Hospital today. There we go, then. It started with a road accident and turned into an unexplained disappearance. Our cameras were there. Some of the scenes you might find disturbing. Did somebody push you, Bill? Clifford? Clifford? Clifford! Clifford! What did the doctor say, Bill? Karen, I'm the senior welfare worker, and you... I just think you, you should take... can't just shout Clifford when a senior welfare worker is busy. Senior welfare workers have very serious senior welfare work to get on with. Look. Get up! Oh, I'd forgotten. 
forgotten this was in here. Oh, there's a button missing. <laughs> oh, and this brings back some memories. <laughs> I was a bit of a girl in my day. <laughs> That we shouldn't even be in Dunster. And you should be looking after those children, not letting them fall under buses. Well, what are we going to do, Clifford? We're going to go to Dunster and get those kids back. I just hope they're safe. Stop that. If you want to do that, you go outside. I've got too much to do destroying the world to clear up your mess. Right. Now, North America, Brazil, Cumbria. No rest for the wicked. Ah, well, a nice cup of tea. Strange scenes in America today. Over six inches of snow fell in sunny California, and from Brazil, thirty foot tidal waves. <laughs> thirty foot tidal waves destroyed the coastal town of Aracaju. Meanwhile, a crack in the earth. Uh, Mrs. Diaz. Yes, love. When you kill the world and everything dies in that. Yes, love. Do we uh, die? Oh <laughs> no, love, you're with me. You're the evil one's beasts. You're fine. Oh, just asking. Have a biscuit. News just in. Police are baffled by random acts of violence breaking out all round the country. That's Reports have been shocking. coming in from as far afield. Road to Dunster, Dunster, please, Karen. Disturbing reports coming in. Across the country, vast sections of society seem to be losing control of their sanity. Wonderful. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Diaz, are you doing this? <laughs> Come the day of destruction, mayhem and madness will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trouble? What is that? Conigars. I thought they would have given up. They're getting closer. Always got to try and spoil everything. What do we do? We don't do anything. Said. We must find her. Can't we do some more flying first? Come on. Dears? Dears? Where is she? I'm not in there, am I, darling? She's in here! Where? I don't know where. I heard her voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, love. Cold. Very cold. 
Young Ronnie's a lot warmer. Scalding, boiling, burning, hot, cold. Frozen cold, frozen cold with icicles. Look, play properly. It's not a game. Well, I'm enjoying it. That's because you're cheating. You can't say scalding, boiling, burning hot if it's not. It's cheating. All right, no more cheating. Well, who's hot then? Bill. Bill's hottest. Cooling off. Oh, hotting up. Oh, getting hotter. Hotter. Oh, boiling, boiling hot. Scalded, scalding, boiling, burning, sunburn hot. Boom. According to the file, Karen? Miss Studderidge should have taken those children to Felfont Heights. I promise you, Karen, when we get to Dunster, that woman's in for a serious reprimand. He's got a hope in this weather. People seem to be behaving very strangely around here. A bit mad. Don't be ridiculous. A clear bird! And as everyone gets madder and madder, and as I destroy more and more, the final moment, the last full stop, the end of the world gets nearer and nearer. And the beauty of it is, if you can't catch me, you can't stop me. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe we've stopped the evil one. How can we tell? Is the world still outside? Seems to be. Still seems to be here. Plenty of world here. World here, world there, world everywhere, Miss Dutteridge. We saved the world. We saved the world! We saved the world! We saved the world! We saved the world! Have we? There's only one way to find out. We saved the world! We saved the world! We saved the world! We saved the world! Still seems to be here. Loads of lovely world! What's that? What? Connigar. What? Connigars. Follow the voice. Connigar. Right. Let's find Dutteridge. Oh, Clifford, it's so lovely and quiet here. Of course it's quiet, Karen. It's one of those sleepy old villages where nothing ever happens. Did you really think it was going to be that easy? Too late. You'll never find me now. 
Uncontrollable forces of nature have been unleashed. Releasing millions of gallons of water is the costliest flood in American history. Simply get worse. Sweeping away everything in their lives. They are the worst wildlife miles in southern California for years. The two were believed to have been set deliberately, plus eight others all so far unknown. Higher than usual tides have led to widespread flooding. I can't watch. Oh, but you must. I want you to share in my glorious victory, my resounding triumph, the despair, the destruction, the horror, the annihilation, the cataclysm, the end. Have we lost? Of course you've lost. It's all falling apart. Madness everywhere. Time to end it. I feel sorry for you. You're gonna be ever such a lonely old lady. Oh, really? No one to go to at Christmas. No one to talk to. Nothing. Just you. Don't you worry, pet. I'll have a bit of company. <laughs> Cheery bye. <laughs> Anticipating more storms this afternoon and evening. Is that it then? We lose to the evil one. Well, I think she's the stupid one. I mean, she's going to be walking around with no one to talk to. And she likes a good gossip. Not half. Yap, yap, yap. Who's she going to yap on to now? Her dogs, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. You think she'll take the dogs? Well, I would. If she's going to take the dogs, you're going to have to go and get the dogs. The sands, Bill. Ready? Ready. Come on, then. Come on. Can't we? What? No. What? Well, we need to get there fast. Oh. What do you want a cardi for? Just because it's the end of the world doesn't mean it doesn't get in the pee at night. Well, do we get jumpers? No, you do not get jumpers. You get biscuits and hugs, that's what you get. <laughs> Sterodent. Some yardly. Fur-lined boots. What was that? I'm not expecting anyone. No one knows I'm here. Vic. Yeah. Well? Trev. <laughs> Trevor! T Trevor! Trevor, talk to me! Talk to me, Trevor! Trevor doesn't feel like talking, Mrs. Dears. Let's even up the odds, shall we? Do him! Vic, we're back! <laughs> this to be <laughs> setting? Come away, children. Yes, but... Come no, on. but you're supposed to be at Delphon Heights tick looking after tock, these children. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. What's the time, Bill? Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
she oh. is a nasty piece of evil, work. Evil, evil, but quite attractive. <laughs> I don't like her at all. <laughs> Had an email. Yes. I knew you'd be here, so <laughs> I, I dug it out. It's the only one, of course. Not. <laughs> this is to say hello to Jamie Carter in Sandbach from Chris Sandbach. Booth. Sandbach. Oh, there's a service station there. We went there last bank holiday, Norma Joan and I. Had a lovely picnic on the forecourt. Oh, good. Oh. You're a connoisseur of service stations, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. What are you doing for Science Week? 